It is not to look down on people who are caught up in the, in the different uh, genders. We don't, we don't do that. We pray and say, oh man, wow, okay? They are against God's creative order because he only made them male and female. And, and the male and female, the sex and the gender go together. All right? They go with his bi biology. Okay? You got it? <clears throat> he made it egalitarian, equal in image, and complementarian, different in function. He made us equal. He says, I'm going to make them. He, he was very specific. He says, let me make male and female in my image. Egalitarian. Equal. Nobody can look down. You can't look and say, I'm, no, no, equal. But I'm going to make them complementary, meaning they will have different functions. Genesis 2.18. Then the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. What did he say? I will make him a what? Who is just right for him or compliments him because he can't have babies. And I got a, I got a mission for them. And I'm going to tell them my mission in the next point. You follow what I'm saying? So if we look at our society, right, we don't know if we're male or female no more. We're not made in his image no more. We're making up our own images of who we think we are, right? We don't train our kids up to say, you're made in the image of God, right? You got me? So then what we're doing is we're getting out of the creative order of God. 